Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a fun one. We are going to continue with our house tours and today we're going to be doing my master bedroom, the bathroom, and our closet. So I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. I thought it was a perfect time since I'm about to spruce it up a little bit for spring. So it's in its most natural state. So we're just going to tour. I'm going to tell you guys about future plans in this area. And I love these. So we are six months in to living in our new build in the Dallas, Texas area. So I want to see in another six months or in a year where our home has grown and gone. So I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. So guys, let's head on in to our master bedroom. We have the double doors that lead to our um, master bathroom and then also our closet. Sorry, today we have a train going by and today is kind of a rainy, gloomy day. But we're going to start over here. So we decided to this these windows these double windows they do lead out to the backyard we went with uh blackout curtains that was my husband he doesn't really care about the design i pretty designing i pretty much can do whatever i want to do but he requested that we have blackout curtains so we chose white and then i chose that simple black rod rod from Amazon. You're going to hear me say Amazon and Target a lot in this video. The colors of our wall, they look like a white, which they are. They're a white, but the door is white and you can see they're slightly different. So they're, they, they are white, but they're called City Law from Sherwin Williams. Any of that kind of stuff I will have listed down below. And then the trim is just the trim and the doors are just a nice bright white. And then we have blinds. So then this is kind of our main little area. When we moved in, my husband and my dad did the shiplap wall and I wanted it in a nice crisp white. Um, we had this sign, Rodriguez, from our old house and I hung it up here. I just thought it's from Small Wood Goods and I just thought it was perfect over our bed. Our nightstands and our dresser, they are from um, Amazon. I love them. The only con is you're gonna have to put it together. Our headboard is a simple black headboard and that is also from Amazon. Um, I like the hardware on it. It has a drawer on it. I styled our nightstands just really simply. This one is actually my husband's side. So we have an R for our last name here. We have uh, one of our wedding pictures. The R is from Michael's. The wedding picture is actually from, Am the wedding frame is from Amazon. Um, up here we have this candle from Home Goods. I love like um, the material that's on the outside of it. Some florals from Michaels. Just books, books that we actually have read. Um, those are from Amazon. And then we have that picture that is actually from Hobby Lobby. If you want to disguise your Kleenex, they have a ton of new ones. We've had this one for some years now, but that is from Amazon. And I love it because your Kleenex can look like anything underneath, but it just looks pretty. And you guys know I do have a slight obsession with houses. And then inside my husband's room, we're not going to go really quick, but Brooklyn, um, she does make artwork for us. So he has some artwork and then some of his other things, a speaker and then a back scratcher. Over here, he also has his phone charger as well. Step back, then we have our bed. I just love white, crisp, 
For the spring, I am gonna add in some tan. I think that it'll pick up good from the nightstands, the wood on the nightstands, and from our picture up there. So I am gonna add in some tan. This kind of seafoam color is my absolute favorite color. I had it all over our house in California, but I kind of shied away from it, but I do include it in our bedroom. So our bedding is actually from Amazon. It's this quilt. Our sheets are from Amazon as well. We have this from Home Goods. Um, it's just good to add a little extra um, in the winter time. Um, the floral pillow is actually from um, Michaels. That is going to be included in a video that I have coming up. The two Euro pillows are from Amazon and then the other pillows came with the set. So there you go. Over on my nightstand, very simply as well, I have our little monitor for my daughter from Amazon. I This is one of my favorite pieces in my home. It is this lantern. I love lanterns as well. Lantern, lanterns and houses. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. I think I got it when it was 50% off, but I just love how it's so chippy. It looks, it's new, but it looks very old world. And then I have on my side another book. I love styling with books. I get them from the thrift store. Um, I think all the ones in our bedroom are books that we have read. I just took off the outside cover, but we have this little book and then um, a picture of my hubby and that little vintage frame that was actually a gift. Down here, more books. I have this vintage crock that I love and I have a few oils in there and then just a little floral arrangement. In my side, I have, I usually keep my camera here and then um, sunglasses. My daughter draws this picture so I have those in there and then this little section with just like some bracelets and that kind of stuff. So love that we actually have a good amount of storage in our nightstands in this house. So I'll pan over our bed skirt. I don't think I mentioned that. That is also from Amazon. I like it because it doesn't go underneath the mattress. It kind of goes around it. So I like that feature. Then let's step and go over here. We have our robot vacuum cleaner um, that we just got during Christmas time. We have a faux plant. I want a little... Um, plant stool for that to elevate it a bit. The plant and the pot and the moss, they're all from Hobby Lobby. And then our dresser to match our nightstands, our TV from Best Buy, and then we have over here, that's a whole nother extra comforter that we have for extra. And that is just this area. Um, for this area, I actually have big plants. So I want a plant stand for there. And then I want a mirror, like one that leans against the wall. I think that'll be a nice touch in this area. I haven't had a full length mirror in so long. So I think that'll be great. We do have these double doors. My husband does close them every single day when he's getting ready in the morning. It keeps the light out, but I love those. Um, we're gonna come into our bathroom. We have this mat and it is from Home Goods. I love it. That's actually gonna be in an upcoming video. I love our shower because it's the one that doesn't have if it'll focus the surround so it's just like the seamless shower love it love it love it our tile in there is English Hawthorne's English gray tile and they did squares in the shower our builders and then kind of a brick style on our floor and it has a gray grout which I like because it keeps it clean for me to stay out of the shot on this our um, vanity is in pewter and then I do love our fixtures. They're that chrome, but I just love the style of them. They're from Moen. And um, we do, I just keep it really simple up here because we use it every day. I have a soap dispenser that is from Target. The basket is from Target and a little plant from Target. I told you guys Target and 
<laughs> Amazon is the are the words for today. Um, our hand towels, we have one on each side. Those are actually from Home Goods. So I have those, switch them out. And then we have this little water closet. I know I can do something fun in here. I haven't done anything yet. Um, and it just has a little basket that holds toilet tissue, but I've done really nothing in this little area. Love it because we have great storage, much more bathroom storage than we did at our old house. Um, this is what we're working with in this closet. Um, just some baskets up there. I have some extra towels. These are from Hearth in Hand, extra pillowcases. Um, for just this is just stuff for our bathroom washcloths toilet paper all of that stuff and then I have all of our things um, I have all of our toothpaste stuff like dental things in here more dental stuff we usually keep our rings I keep my necklace all that stuff in that area medicine on these two areas i still am because i've pretty much just used items that we already had in our old house but i'm still going to transform this a little bit i want some lazy susans i think that will be good um so all this is medicine stuff this is all like my glasses stuff contacts glasses all of that goods feminine products and then some other this is all my husband's stuff and then some other things that we both use. But I do have the wicker baskets on top. We do have a scale on the floor. So love that closet, definitely room to grow and I love it. Oh, we have our iron up there as well. And then let's go into our closet. So this is our closet. We have these bins that I got from guessed it, Amazon. I did hang some of my hats on the wall. We have shoes all around, purses all around, and then also shoes on the bottom. This is my side, and take note that I have way less clothes than my husband. So this is what I'm working with, and then all of this is my husband. <laughs> and then this whole bin, he puts like his little um, stuff in there, our internet cables run up there too, but he puts uh, like his wallet and keys and that kind of stuff when he comes home. But we have this little chest. That is all his. All his stuff is in here. Um, this is from Amazon. It looks like a dupe for the Ikea one, but from Amazon. And then this is our hamper. Always have laundry in there from Amazon as well. And like I said, guys, that was nice, short, and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed touring our master bedroom and seeing all of the things. I just can't wait. I love wait making these videos for reference. Let's see in six months or a year from now how more cozy and how our um, master bedroom, you know, grows from there. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. The next one, we are gonna start with some of our spring decor. So thank you guys again, and I will see you very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys.